Okay, awesome. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, perfect. We'll go ahead and get started then. Um, so I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Ava. I'm the peer advisor for computer science engineering. Um, I'm a third year in computer science. Um, and today we have geeks with us here. If you guys want to introduce yourselves. Yeah, I can go first. I'm Kavi. I'm the uh, marketing head for Geeks. I'm on Geeks' eboard, and I'm a CS major, and I'm a senior. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shreya, and I'm in the marketing committee with Kaveri, and I am a junior, and I'm a CS major. Okay, awesome. Um, perfect. So get us started. Um, can you guys just tell us what Geeks is, maybe what it stands for, um, and then kind of what your main goal is? Mm -hmm. So basically, Girl Geek stands for Girls in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, and mm -hmm. it's pretty much a way for professional and social development for mm -hmm. girls and geeks. And our professional side, we do a lot of workshops, information sessions, recruiting advice, and then we also have our social sides where we have a lot of like bonding activities. And we always have good food at those. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, just getting to know other girls in EEX, it's really mm -hmm. beneficial. You can get advice or just even make friends. Yeah. Awesome. And then you were just talking a little bit maybe about some committees that you have. Do you want to talk a little bit more about what different committees that you have in Geeks? Yeah. So, well, <laughs> the both of us on the marketing mm -hmm. committee, we have been for a few years now. But mm -hmm. we basically manage social media. Mm -hmm. uh, we create like flyers, branding, mm -hmm. merch, um, mm -hmm. all that stuff for Geeks. So marketing mm -hmm. is marketing it mainly to like the members in Geeks, but also externally. Mm -hmm. And then we have outreach where we do a lot of work with um, girls and non-binary students in high school to get them interested in um, like CS and coding. So we have like coding like um, like sessions for a lot of high schools um, around Ann Arbor and just honestly like, like schools outside of Ann Arbor as well. Like we connect to uh, um, girls in high schools to get them more interested in coding. And then we have the professional committee that does work for Geeks members. They host workshops for like tech, like technical interview prep, behavioral interview prep. Mm -hmm. And then we lastly have the internal committee where they release blog posts on what it's like to be like a, you know, a girl, a student yeah. in Michigan. And just recently, we actually just had a blog post that mm -hmm. was just about like managing your stress. stress. And it was just like yeah. really nice. It's like, yeah, we like it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay, that's perfect overview. And then you're mentioning um, a part of like the professional team, maybe some like interview um, prep and stuff. With that, like what type of skills can people learn through Geeks? Yeah, I think that, so the thing with technical interviews is not many people have experience with it and mm -hmm. you don't really, can't really get that from a book. Mm -hmm. So with Geeks, what they're planning on doing with the next, it actually starts this Thursday and they're going to be having sessions from now on where you're going to get matched up, like paired up with another person who signed up for this program mm -hmm. and you will be interviewing one another. And I feel like that's a super mm -hmm. valuable skill because you get, mm -hmm. you, you're simulating like a technical interview, like experience with someone else in real time, which I think is super beneficial. And also they will be going over concepts as well, like data structures and stuff. Like a lot mm -hmm. of us took 280 a while ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like those concepts are rusty and recruiting's happening right now. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a good refresher. And just those communication skills as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a great opportunity. Um, and then switching sides a little bit, um, I know you guys went to the Grace Hopper conference this year. Mm -hmm. Do you want to little, talk a little bit about what that is for people who maybe don't know about it um, and kind of how your experience was? Yeah, so Grace Hopper is basically this conference that takes place every year mm -hmm. around September. It's for um, women, non-binary stu mm -hmm. non students, and professionals in tech to come together and it's this huge like recruiting conference mm -hmm. um and it happened in florida this year mm -hmm. and um we took around 15 members um and completely all paid for which was nice uh, so cool. Tons yeah. of posts about that. i know yeah it, it's such a great experience because the last few years it's been virtual so it's really nice to have been able to go in person and <laughs> a bunch of companies like a lot of big companies google apple amazon Amazon, they all mm -hmm. come up and they set up stalls um, and like booths and they decorate it and you can go and talk to recruiters and like 
people who work there, like actual engineers. And a lot of people have been like given internships like on the spot when they go and like talk to them and things like that. Or like full time roles. I know currently we're going through like a bit of a recession and um, yeah, not the best time to be graduating, but definitely a lot of internship roles that a lot of people got this year. So I feel like it's a great way to just um, network and meet people from like different parts of the US, um, different women in like these um, super high profile companies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was an extremely like valuable experience. That's awesome. Yeah, I know Great Hopper Conference is like an amazing opportunity. So it's awesome you guys had a great time. Um, yeah. And then with that too, how do people get involved in that? I know you mentioned that you guys sponsor people mm-hmm. fully to go. How do people to like tend to get that? So actually the way we do it is we do have an application that comes out, I think, at end of like winter semester or maybe mm-hmm. the start of the summer. And um, I think the way we choose is, of course, it's pretty holistic. We go through your application, but we also see your involvement in Geeks. So if you're on a committee, um, if you're on a committee, you do get more like we have something called Geeks points that mm-hmm. you earn by attending events. So the more events you attend, the more points you get. If you're on a committee, you get more points. If you're on a family, you get more points. So we look at the points, we look at your application, and then we like also see if you're a senior, like you're like if you're junior, senior, slightly more likely to go because you may not have you know as many chances to go later. Mm-hmm. In the day. So it's like a pretty holistic <laughs> process in selecting people. That's awesome. Okay, that's great to know. Mm-hmm. Um, and then with that too, so you were talking kind of about some companies that were at Grace Hopper Conference. What type of companies or I guess what companies do people um, in Geeks typically go to work at after um, being part of Geeks? Um, I think people at least tend to go to like the big big tech tech companies. companies. We actually, Geeks is sponsored by a lot of big ones like Uber. Um, Meta, 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 Meta sponsors um, us. Yeah. Uh, so Amazon. a lot of these companies, mm-hmm. it is actually so. Geeks actually has a resume book that like mm-hmm. gets these companies, which is really mm-hmm. great. So based off points, like you can get um you like they'll reach out to you for it, and then mm-hmm. you'll have your book out there. Yeah. That's, that's really awesome. Cool. Okay, that's great to hear. Um, with that too, do you want to talk a bit more about those professional opportunities? I know you talked about um having the. Um, I think you said the new program about coding interviews um, and tech mm-hmm. interviews. What other like professional opportunities do you guys tend to work on? Is there anything like resumes um, or like LinkedIn? I'm not sure. Yeah, so we have, so with our sponsors, uh, we have a lot of events with them, especially in the fall semester when we're like heavy mm-hmm. with recruiting. Mm-hmm. So I know we've had um, like maybe in the last two months had events with Bloomberg and um, Google. Mm-hmm. I think oh, we caught her. For a second. Don't worry, the ten percent battery. <laughs> no worries. The battery. <laughs> Apple's battery. Um <laughs> yeah, so we basically had like um Google and Bloomberg come mm-hmm. in and have the recruiters talk to us and basically we'd share uh like the resume book with them mm-hmm. and then they would um ask you to apply and then they could contact you later so we have a lot of recruiting events in that sense mm-hmm. um tons of company info sessions info always. sessions yeah and sometimes even like technical interview like prep goldman sachs did that with us where they like walked us through the like technical mm-hmm. interview process that's so. awesome that, that sounds like really great opportunities to talk to companies then um and on the other side of that um and you guys mentioned um social events what are some typical social events that you guys have? I know I've seen that you guys have um, collaborated with other organizations. Um, I know you mentioned food. Uh, if you want to talk a little more about that. Too. I'm trying to think. So Michigan Hackers, mm-hmm. and we've done a couple Few. of events together. Mm-hmm. We've done socials. And um, yeah, I feel like it's just a great way to kind of get to know other tech clubs at MUMICH. Mm-hmm. Um, Sui. Yeah. Sui was Sui, another one. Do. Um a shift to I wish we mm-hmm. have more oh, like um, <laughs> events at shift but mm-hmm. I know we did one with Sui where we went to Yoast uh the ice mm-hmm. skating yeah. um and that was super fun so I think bowling, we're bowling, bowling yeah so we're constantly trying to like um have events with other clubs or on campus mm-hmm. and yeah food we always have food at our events every um, time it's every so time nice. it's, it's so best. nice yeah um avoid I just avoid cooking dinner. Like, yeah, oh, just like, go to a geek. <laughs> <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> 
<laughs> I love that. That's awesome. That sounds like really, really great social events. Um, with that too, um, I kind of want to ask like what the time commitment usually is of geeks. Um, do you expect a certain amount of commitment from members or like how do you guys balance classes with that as well? I would Shea I can go as like a <laughs> committee member and then geek is yeah. like a board member. Yeah, I would say so before I was even on the committee, personally I think that whatever you put in you get out of mm-hmm. geek. So it's kinda like when you first come in, you know, you're getting your points, you're attending small events. And then mm-hmm. I feel like once you're in a committee, it's definitely a lot more you have deadlines, like you're mm-hmm. doing a lot more for the club. So I would say like if you were doing like an average, like maybe like two hours a week, like it's not too crazy but it's yeah not. yeah yeah i definitely think as a committee member um your time commitment goes up a little but but not, it's not crazy it's not crazy um definitely as a board member goes up by yeah. a lot <laughs> just because mm-hmm. you look over a committee and you also have to plan events like we mm-hmm. have board meetings every week mm-hmm. but still honestly like it's it's fun work like i'm not lying i'm not trying to be like cheesy and be like it's fun <laughs> genuinely is fun at least if you're passionate about your committee like I love making posters Mm -hmm. Um, I love branding and things like that so Mm -hmm. I would say maybe it's a five-hour commitment Mm -hmm. um sometimes it gets more sometimes it gets less planning definitely went up by a lot but you also have slumps sometimes so yeah no bad yeah yeah that's a great overview of kind of how the time commitment is and then with that too um, how can people in CS kind of get involved in Geeks? I know you mentioned committees. Is there a certain application for that or um, for members as well? Um, so we don't have any member fee, like joining fee. Mm-hmm. Like nothing. It's free. You just show up and mm-hmm. you're basically a member. Just sign in. And mm-hmm. we start keeping track of our members with like Geeks points. So mm-hmm. at every session, like at every event, we have a sign-in link. And mm-hmm. you sign in and then you get your point. And committees, yes, we do have an application. Mm -hmm. Uh, But once you're on a committee, the thing is, the unofficial thing is, usually, at least me, I I love having Che on my committee. (laughs) She's like, come right back. I'm like, just come back. (laughs) You have to submit an application, mm-hmm. but if you if you the initial one was good, yeah, if the initial mm-hmm. one's usually the most important mm-hmm. one, and you should mm-hmm. come back yeah. to the committee. That's awesome. Okay, that's great. And then with that too, um, I kind of wanted to ask like, what events or maybe opportunities you have coming up, maybe that people could start going to or just start attending. Yeah, we have one today actually mm-hmm. with Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's with. It's like hybrid, so you can join mm-hmm. online or go to North Campus. Um, there will be food. Uh, <laughs> and then, obviously. Super cool, though. But, yeah, for that one, there's, like, a panel of some alumni coming. Mm-hmm. And they're female alumni who work yeah. at, who Minecraft. at Minecraft. Oh, awesome. That was so fun. Yeah. So, yeah. And we have a Deloitte event, too, um, mm-hmm. on Wednesday. And we have uh, an our elections info session because mm-hmm. Geeks is um, like eBoard gets elected for the calendar year and not mm-hmm. the academic year. So we're going to have a new set of mm-hmm. people coming in, the leadership. Um, so yeah, fun. <laughs> that's great. Okay, that's a great overview of the events and stuff. I'm excited for the Minecraft events this year. Yeah. So that's really, really cool. Um, and then I guess just to wrap it up with my questions, um, I kind of just want to ask my last question as, What's your guys' favorite part of Geeks? Okay. Personally, which I don't think we've brought this up yet, but Geeks also does mentorship family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. And so we have, it's generally, it's not really like an mm-hmm. age, but generally upperclassmen will be mentors and then underclassmen will be um, the mentees. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, I loved my family when I joined it. It's really great. Um, it's just like a nice way to have, to get advice from like older like students who have taken classes that you have mm-hmm. who know what it's like to be an ex major like right. it's so yeah I, that's my favorite part for sure that's awesome. mm-hmm. i think my favorite part is just like finding a community in like ex ex is mm-hmm. so big um mm-hmm. and male dominated usually mm-hmm. uh and i was someone who didn't have any coding experience coming in i yeah. was been a CS major for the longest time so okay. it's like coming in I got to meet so many people in my classes mm-hmm. you know could do like CS like each projects with them and things like that so it was finding a mini community within this like super big um 
like campus so mm -hmm. I've actually was, like, yeah I've met all my partners yeah. through yeah, geeks. Geeks. yeah all my geeks partners yeah yeah that's awesome. I know me too. I've also used Geeks before. Yeah. Um, I remember like for, I was, I was in an internship at Yale. I didn't know anybody. And then Geeks was amazing research for that. So that's awesome. Yeah, we love Geeks. Everyone loves Geeks. So that's great. Well, that was awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us here um, and answering our questions here and giving us a good overview of Geeks. Um, and I hope you guys have a great Minecraft event tonight. Um, I look forward to seeing the events for the rest of the year. So thank you so much. I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.